All sorts of people have washed ashore on Christmas Island, but none quite like this. These West Papuan men have just been released from detention. Today they're reunited with their families, housed in the suburbs above the town. Good day for West, uh, West Papuan people, especially for the people now. Uh, we heard from the uh, Australian government that yesterday we got a protection visa for three years. It's hard to imagine 43 of these men, women and children crammed into an outrigger canoe for five weeks, lost at sea without food or water for the last four days. They survived an incredible journey through treacherous seas and now a political storm is breaking around them. I don't want to say, just thank you. Indonesia is very uh, angry. Yeah, but for me and my friends, Indonesia angry just for one day. But for West Papuan people, we are suffering for 40 years. Herman Wangai, a well-known independence activist in West Papua, led the exodus, which included his wife Ferra, also an activist, and their two children. If Australian government send me back to West, uh, West Papua, I will die. That's reality. I don't want to talk lie, because we have experience under control Indonesia military. Indonesian intelligence were closing in around Wangai late last year for his activities. He'd already served two and a half years in prison for raising the outlawed West Papuan flag, a serious and often deadly offence in Indonesian West Papua. So, 2004, I completed uh, my writ. And this was for a flag raising, was it? Yeah, raising, uh, raising a flag in West Papua. Herman and friends were planning another flag raising for December the 1st last year. I have to, uh, yes, uh, escape. Their involvement became known to the authorities. Fearing a wave of arrests, Herman and co set to sea. This group are a mixture of urban students and bush activists all of them serial flag raisers for the independence movement. Uh, all of us is uh, activists. Stay in Jakarta and Manado and then in West Papua, a lot of from West Papua activists in Jayapura. But why now? Why this year? Yes, in West Papua now situation is very risky, very bad situation because you know in Every way in West Papua, especially in Jayapura town, this is a military that take over uh, every place, district, and especially in university. Military, they can come, the access to come to university to find out who uh, West Papua uh, activists. Since the loss of East Timor, thousands more police and military have been deployed in West Papua. In the remote highlands, tribal protests and flag raisings have been met with deadly force. In the towns, the students, including many of the refugees, have risked their liberty, even their lives, through a string of protests in recent years. The intimidacy, the terror, the fitna, the anyaya, sehingga kami masyarakat Papua dan saya secara khusus mahasiswa adakan aksi protes menuntut keadilan di tanah Papua Barat kepada pemerintah Indonesia itu merupakan kesempatan yang baik oleh pemerintah Indonesia dalam hal ini militer dan polisi untuk membunuh kami dengan senjata All but one of the refugees are now free but not all are free of fear I, I saw with my eyes 
plenty people die plot in anywhere place I'm just crying and I'm just pray all of my friend run to the jungle of all of my friend this young man still fears reprisals against his family in West Papua but wants to tell of the things he's seen in recent years plenty of uh, a lot of uh, army come come to to the our village and we cannot to run and we just hear a gun in anywhere plenty people die in student is a old old and ladies child i'm just crying with my friends a witness to a massacre an activist himself he also faces another danger unique to many in his group he's the son of a known independence leader making him a special target for indonesian intelligence my father was arrested in jail by a military of Indonesia and the influence of that I cannot to free to to get school and like some like that. <laughs> the most remarkable story belongs to four children who came alone on the boat without their parents. And what happens uh, today? What's special about today? Today we can be together with the teachers in school and with our friends in school. Today is their last day at Christmas Island Public School, where they've been studying for the last two months. Yeah, yeah, suka, suka sekali, karena karena sekolah di sini bagus, sangat disiplin, disiplin, disiplin dan maju. An ordinary Australian morning for boys who've had anything but an ordinary childhood. The Indonesian army killed, killed your grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. How, how did they kill him? Bagaimana mereka bunuh? Kau punya bapa? Eh, dia dia. Dia dia. Mereka bunuhnya bagaimana? Ditembak. Yeah, shoot. Because he was uh, activist. Uh... Yeah, karena dia tu apa? Pejuang Papua. Yeah. Yes. Most of the children in this group, including some older teenage girls who don't wish to appear, are from remote highland villages, their fathers living in the jungle, constantly hunted by the Indonesian army. muara dibuang di muara dan dibuang di muara dan ada yang ditembak mati ma, ditembak mati pakai ma, mati pakai senjata dan dan di, digantung digantung leher their fathers fearing that their own lives may soon end made the heartrending decision to send their children into exile for most of the boys it was the first time they'd ever seen the sea kami meninggalkan kami punya orang tua di Papua dan dan waktu di perahu kami menangis dan dan untuk tolong bapak bapak sebenarnya kami tidak mau ikut apa ikut perjalanan ini tapi berseru kepada Tuhan Tuhan tolong kami belajar dan untuk menuntut ilmu bahasa Inggris supaya kami bisa bisa berbicara bahasa Inggris karena ilmu bahasa Inggris sangat penting bagi kita karena kami sudah tinggal di Australia whatever traumas they have suffered in West Papua and on their journey these people have been treated well by officials here and welcomed by many residents. Christmas Island has been kind to them. It's lunchtime at the Chinese Literary Association and the West Papuans are guests of honour. 
the West Papua and Group are all flying out today. And it's very important, I think, that we have a meal together to say farewell. Christmas Island Shire President Gordon Thompson has openly welcomed the Papuans. About 70% of the island is a uh, national park, so it's just forest, quite beautiful. He's proud of his island, but fears that its future will not be in tourism, but as an Australian government prison. The reason we don't want uh, Christmas Island to be a detention centre, I, I guess, is because we don't think that people who are fleeing uh, repressive governments uh, should be locked up at all. We're heading towards the, the new $300 million prison. Northwest Point on Christmas Island. So the, uh, the official position of the, of the Shire is you don't want it? Absolutely not. And so how, did, how come you've got it? We don't have the decision-making power that uh, we would like. <laughs> we should have. Behold! Gordon may hope that Christmas Island is not seen as a prison, but it's well on the way to becoming that. This centre, due to be finished next year, is likely to replace the so-called Pacific Solution, a remote holding centre where certain Australian laws will not apply. Papuans are now waiting for the weather to clear and for a charter flight to take them to Melbourne. A radically new life awaits all of them, but especially the boys from the bush. Have you seen a big city before? What's, what's the biggest city you've seen before? No, I saw that a big photo. Yes, but that's in the photo. In Melbourne, it's very, very big. It's like Jayapura times 1,000. Uh? <laughs> Four million people. Oh. Today is a happy day for West Papua. But the Papuans are largely oblivious to the political debate that will surround them in Australia. On Christmas Island, it's just a time for goodbyes and thank yous. We come under pressure military government of Indonesia without your praying without your support we can in short time we can get protection visa from Australian government you friendly people you kindness people also Gordon Thompson Thank you for your support.